Alan Landry was a loving grandfather, father, and sibling with a sense of humor that could light up a room. But when pain from his arthritis got too bad to bear, he took his own life. He committed suicide in a locked bathroom at Royal University Hospital, a place where he thought his body would be discovered by hospital staff, people accustomed to death, as opposed to his family. As it turned out, his body would not be found for more than three days, as housekeeping staff were not told he was missing, and processes weren't followed when the locked bathroom went uncleaned. Now, a year after Landry's death, the family feels they've been kept in the dark. That's one of the hardest parts is not just getting together to remember because there's still so many unanswered questions and and it's hard to focus on grieving when when it's not so all sorted out. The family wants to see the internal review conducted by the Saskatchewan Health Authority into the search for their father and the police investigation notes made by Saskatoon police during the search. Mike Landry, Alan's son, searched the hospital himself with his family, and he says at times it felt like they were searching alone. Every time we would notice uh, underneath the stairs there was cigarette butts and like, candy wrappers, we thought maybe he was there, maybe, possibly, and we just, there was nobody looking at all. Alan's eldest daughter, Darlene, says her father was a gracious man who would never get too upset, as he was more interested in instilling a lesson than a punishment. For her and all of Alan's loved ones, including his siblings like Sister Pat, the loss is immeasurable. It's huge. Yeah, there is. It's huge. There's, there's no way to describe it. It's, it's a piece that is so big that it's you never, it'll never be easy. Never. And he was proud of all of his grandkids. He always told us that. His grand, and he was his proud of, of his everyone life. he loved. CBC requested interviews with both Saskatoon Police and the SHA, but the requests were declined. Statements were offered instead. The health authority says it made several changes to ensure the situation never happens again, and police say they'll be following up with family. But for Alan's children and siblings, they worry they won't be able to heal until they get the answers they need. Morgan Majeski, CBC News, Saskatoon.